Welcome back to Ask Dr. Clark. Today's topic, when the narc is caught in sin, caught red-handed. The narc, when he's caught in sin, will go through the same responses every time. I'll cover these responses today and then what, of course, to do about it. At the end of this video, I'll cover some helpful resources that will really make a difference in your life. Today's question. My narcissist husband made some terrible financial decisions that cost us thousands. Many of you can relate to this, can't you? When I found out he wasn't sorry and he ended up blaming me. Yeah, big surprise. What do I do, she asks. I'll tell her. Here's my answer. Narcs are never sorry. They are incapable of being sorry. They can say they're sorry. This guy didn't even do that, but they're never sorry. They're incapable of it. And they blame you because it's never their fault. Nothing is ever their fault. Here's how a narc reacts when you catch him in sin. Here's the usual progression. He'll deny it. You could have a video of him. He will deny it. He'll lie about it. He'll minimize it. That wasn't that big of a deal when it's a big deal. He'll only reveal what you already know. Narcs will not tell you the entire truth. If you actually have information, he may have to admit to that, but nothing else. He may act sorry briefly, and I mean act, just to shut you up. But he expects immediate forgiveness. Boom, I said I was sorry, and let's move on. Drop the issue now, is what he'll say. He'll also act like it never happened. After that brief interaction of I'm sorry and let's move on, he acts like it never took place. And you better not be upset about it. Of course, then he'll ends up blaming you. Of course, of course, I said before, he'll say that's in the past. If you do bring it up or act upset, that's in the past. Let's move on. No chance for healing, of course, or building of trust. He'll make the issue your lack of forgiveness, not his sin that did the damage. Okay, what do you do? Don't try to get him to tell you the entire truth. Don't waste your time unless you're like beating your head against a wall and he'll be vicious in return. He's not going to tell you anyway. Don't try to work through your hurt with him. That's going to hurt you more. A narc is in cape. This isn't a normal man. Drop the issue. Drop it. Get ready to leave him and leave him. That's what my ministry is all about. Get these two books from my website. Enough is enough. Biblical support for leaving and exactly how to prepare to leave. And of course, here's the divorce process. You're going to end up divorcing him. I'm just telling you, barring a miracle, this will get you through the divorce process from this monster who's destroying you and your children. Both those are on my website, along with all my other resources, David E. Clark, PhD.com, Clark of the Knee. And while you're at it, I want to recommend some other things that'll be very helpful to you. They're helping many other people. Join our Facebook group. Narcissist free zone. We're cranking this up. We're getting a lot of people signing up and people are helping each other. This is a community that we're building here and it's making a difference. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more, more new, more new narc content. That's hard to say. More new narc content all the time.